question. This time, log base 2 of n belongs to little o of root of n, square root of n. Square of n. Okay, yeah, all right. So this time, let's apply Lobita's rule another time. Yeah, Lobita's rule. Okay, yeah, all right. Let us write the continuous version for x, continuous variable version. Okay, so we can take derivative, numerator, denominator, numerator log base two yeah so we we can find that formula the formula is oh the formula is a little wrong yeah okay yeah the formula there is a constant here okay the formula when you take derivative there is a natural log of two constant in front of this log base two of x no there is a natural log of two constant yeah so here i missed that part natural log of two we know it's a positive number okay it's greater greater than zero but it's a constant it's a constant okay positive constant okay then multiply that log base two of x oh no 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 sorry uh, oh sorry sorry yeah here we haven't applied the derivatives. Yeah. Here I only change denominator root of x to its exponent. I write it as one half. I only made that change. I I haven't taken the derivatives. Yeah. So next step, I I take the derivative. So you will see that natural log. Okay. Yeah. One over natural log of two times x yeah, bracket yeah, reciprocal but that reciprocal you need to multiply that natural log of two constant that constant is a positive constant okay yeah. Yeah. then the power function you can apply to x to the one half power you can also apply you get this expression power rule after simplification, you get this expression after simplification. Now it's not in determinate form. It's not in determinate form. The denominator goes to infinity. Numerator constant. So the whole limit must be zero. When the whole limit zero, so then you can go back to the integer limit version that is limit n goes to infinity log base 2 of n over n this limit must be oh sorry root of n yeah this limit must be zero so you get this little o asymptotic notation okay yeah so this is the next example related to the log function. So here, the second example, we compare log function with power function. The first example, we compare power function with exponential function. Yeah. Okay, so we know which one grows faster eventually. The second one, when we compare log function with power function, which one grows faster eventually, we have a result. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then another example, yeah, let me erase here. Another example.